So welcome to my YouTube channel. And this is one of the very, very fantastic video. Kupitia channel hii hii. Kama bado ya subscribe, consider uh, subscribe. Iliweza kupata notification. So leo nitaenda kuelekeza mimi si trade head and shoulder. Remember leo tutaongelea head and shoulder. Sio inverted head and shoulder. Na kama huijui head and shoulder ni nini, muonekano wake ni huo. So unakuwa like kuna kichwa katikati alafu hiki ni kichwa alafu uh, unakuwa na unakuwa na shoulders ambazo mtazuka kwa rangi ya njano hii I, i mean ngoja nibadili rangi hapa rangi kidogo na kwa changamoto ngoja nitumie nyota so hiyo ni shoulder but this one too ni shoulder okay alafu hii love ya katikati data head okay so unakuwa na two uh, uh, i mean mabega yako mabega mawili afu katikati kuna kichwa kama ulivyo tu kwamba shoulders zinakuwa chini kichwa kinapanda juu alafu unakuwa na shoulder ya upande wa kulia na kushoto okay so pengine umcholo ni, ni mbaya sio mzuri lakini concept yangu utaelewa ni kwamba watu wengi sana wana trade is head and shoulders kwa kukalili kitu ambacho sio kizuri. Sawa. So, watu wengi wana trade. Nitaenda kuelekeza uh, vitu ambavyo natakuwa kuviangalia unapokuwa trade head and shoulder. Kitu cha kwanza kabisa angalia neckline. Neckline ni zile points unapokuwa unaunganisha zile lows kwenye head and shoulder. Zile lows. Low ya kwanza let me show you here first row ni hii hapa the second row ni hii hapa lazima uziangalie hizi zinakuwa na maana sana kama zitatengeneza something like equal lows okay nashaka tunaelewana equal lows maana yake hizi lows ukiunganisha horizontal line unakuta zote zina line up kwenye ile horizontal line tumeelewana kama hii ambayo nimeitumia hapa okay sasa watu wengi wana trade vipi this because this is the first type of head and shoulder kuna head and shoulder nyingine ambayo utaikuta sasa yenyewe ipo hivi let me show you yenyewe ipo hivi alafu no unakuja sorry tuweke hapa hii alafu hii inaenda hivi juu Okay, alafu we find this one. Sasa hii ya pili unakuta imeshuka chini kidogo. Okay? Alafu inarudi juu namna hii. Okay? Sasa ukiunganisha neckline hapa, hizi lows, the first low, let me show you. Hii low sawa so, na hii zinakuwa zipo horizontally okay so nitakuelekeza ni namna gani unaweza kuzi trade hizi mbili the problem ni kwamba watu wengi hawaangalii hivi vitu okay watu wengi sana hawaangalii hivi vitu sasa let me start with this the first one okay namba nianze na hii ya kwanza niunganishe neckline kama ipatavyo so um start with blue hiyo ni neckline okay neckline ambayo sio horizontal alafu ina ya kwanza neckline ambayo iko horizontal and therefore ina create iko lows kwenye neckline okay sasa kitu cha kwanza unatakiwa kufahamu kuhusu market structures make sure unafahamu kuhusu market structures market structures ambazo ndo zinatoa definition ya trend okay definition ya yeah, trend this is very very important okay sasa hebu angalia we had kwenye hii setup ya kwanza unaweza kuona tulikuwa na uptrend okay tulikuwa na uptrend that means bullish move alafu uh, kaja tukatengeneza shoulder ikarudi kwenye neckline hapo remember that time ilikuwa sio neckline ikaenda juu kwenye kopa hapo ambapo ni head okay nabidi ni ni niwe natumia ndio na, na chola ili uweze kunielewa so unaweza kuona kulikuwa na bullish move 
this one then then cover now this kind of move here okay sorry let me check this one here I'll have to kind of turn this ahead but I want to turn this ahead karudi chini ndo tukatengeneza ile iko raw kwenye neckline pale then price ikawa imeenda you katengeneza the second shoulder alafu ikarudi chini sasa hapa ndo tunataka sasa kujua are we going to sell or to buy okay sasa remember remember when you have eco highs or eco lows so most of people wanapenda sana wanapenda sana ku buy point kama hizi because ndo wamefundishwa hapo unaona at this point most people take trades watu wengi sana baada ya hii i mean this law to be formed baada ya price kwenda juu ilivorudi hapa chini watu wengi sana walianza ku take some trades okay na ku put stop loss hapo chini okay kwa maana hiyo sasa kwa maana hiyo hizi kopa kopa nilizoweka hapa chini zinamaanisha stop loss za watu liquidity okay kuna a lot of liquidity hapa chini sasa these guys wanahitaji pesa wanahitaji pesa kuweza ku move upande fulani wa soko na most of liquidity zinapatikana kwenye eco lows au eco highs Yapokuwa pia kuna sehemu zingine ambazo unaweza kukuta liquidity. So what will happen? Kwenye swala kama hili ambacho kitatokea. These guys wana possibility kubwa sana ya kuja hapa chini. Okay? Wana possibility kubwa kubwa sana ya kuja hapa chini. Let me show you. Wana possibility kubwa sana ya kuja hapa chini kuchukua liquidity hii mabao watu wengi wao wakishaona this thing tayari wanaanza ku sell alafu wanaambiana put your stop loss somewhere somewhere here somewhere here kitu ambacho ni very risky kwa sababu umeweka stop loss yako hapo na we have some eco lows hapa okay What is going to happen? These guys are going to take liquidity up a chain and then amacho watafanya these guys watarudi you. Watarudi you kutafuta some imbalance depending na hii move ambayo ilirudi chini ku break in neckline. Kama hiyo movement itakuwa ime create some imbalance that means the guys watayushia hapo and then because wana liquidity ya kutosha sasa these guys wanaweza wakapushi soko upande ambao wao wanataka. Maybe this way. Lakini kama kuna imbalance siwezi nikafikiria mara mbili. I will sell strong sell. So nakuta these guys wanaenda upande huu. So watu wengi sana wanachanganya. This is one of the best setup ambayo itakusaidia kwenye ku trade reversals. Okay? Unaweza kuona walichofanya, wamekuja huku chini ambapo watu wengi walikuwa wameweka stop loss zao ambazo ndo liquidity, wamezichukua. This guys wamezichukua uh, stop loss zao kwa wale walio buy. Some people sasa baada ya kuona imevunja tu, little traders wengi ambao wanafundishwa na mentors hawa ambao tunao, wameshawaambia ikishavunja hapo sell So this guys wanachofanya nini? Ukisell hapa utaweka stop loss hapo juu nilipokuambia these guys wataenda watachukua stop loss zako wataenda ku fill some imbalances zilizopo hapo juu then they will go down this way with very very high moment. You are out. Unaweza kuona sasa why why mimi I don't trade head and shoulders as head and shoulders kama ambavyo head and shoulders zimeelezewa kwenye vitabu vingi. Bila shaka utakuwa unielewa kwenye hii concept. Sasa hii setup ni tofauti sana. Kuna watu watakalili sasa. Uh, eco lows ndo zimefanya tufanye kitu kama hiki. Okay? Ndo zimefanya tufanye kitu kama hiki. Lakini remember kwenye hii head and shoulder nyingine ambayo nimechora kwa rangi ya njano, hakuna 
zile ile neckline haijatengenezwa na eco laws okay that means in here tulikuwa na kitu kama hiki hapa nimeamua kufundisha this video ili kuwasaidia because this kind of videos wa Tanzania wengi sana wanazi mtu anajua lakini pengine anaweza kawa kufundisha see this one ona hiki kitu nilichokuonyesha price ilikuwa inatoka chini inaenda juu imetengeneza raw imetengeneza high then ikaje ka break the previous raw hii inaitwa change uh, i mean break of structure break of structure sasa you have to know always after break of structure kuna kuaga na pullback okay the end of pullback ina depend ina depend na the move ambayo ilishuka chini kama move iliyokuwa inashuka chini kufanya break of structure ilikuwa with very very high liquidity mara nyingi watu wengi sana huwa wanaangalia in balance okay anaangalia in balance kupata entry hapo kwenye hiyo move okay sasa hapa in this kind of in this kind of uh, setup kidogo inakuwa sio changamoto sana kama ilivyo hii hapa kwa sababu hamna masuala ya liquidity somewhere hapo. Okay? And therefore hapa sasa unaweza ukafikiria tu kwamba because uh, hii ime, imefanya imefanya break of structure and therefore this is like hii break of structure ni tunaita change of character kwa sababu imesababisha a total uh, reversal. Kwa sababu this movement ilikuwa ni up bullish movement na unaweza kuona hii ilivyofanya break of structure inatuambia we are moving now to the bearish movement okay and therefore ambacho utasubiria it is only you have to wait here kama utapata some sort, some sort of imbalance somewhere maybe here then you can have a sell sometimes if you have a kama una una, 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 una liquidity zone above there especially bila shaka unafahamu liquidity zone niliwahi kuzungumzia kwenye video muda sana huko i don't know ni 2018 liquidity zone kwa kuangalia momentum kwa kuangalia size of the candles nazungumza swala la liquidity zone inatengenezwa pale ambapo kuna kuwa na very very strong reversal au very very strong mm, lari or drop okay unaweza pia ukasoma supply and demand itakusaidia pia kugundua liquidity zone okay so It, that means kama utakuwa na some imbalance there or liquidity zone hiyo itakupa confirmation ya wewe kusell sorry need to say hivi confirmation ya wewe kusell this is how we trade na mara nyingi this kind of trades tunakuwa na very very high uh, reward kilinganisha na risk kwa sababu unakuwa na take reverse trade that means itatembea pips nyingi 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 sana okay so this is how we trade head and shoulder na sio hivyo ambavyo watu wengi wanawafundisha i think this this concept imeeleweka na kama una swali unaweza kuuliza remember to subscribe on this youtube channel for the next videos